Moorhart, Deputy Secretary of Energy Dan Bruyette. In both India and the United States, we're seeing something really remarkable. Our people are prospering like never before because we are slashing bureaucracy and cutting job-killing red tape. In the United States, thanks to our massive tax cuts and all of our great senators and congressmen and women that are here today, and pro-worker policies, our economy is breaking one record after another. Since my election, we have created over 6 million new jobs. We have created over 750,000 jobs right here in Texas. And very importantly, that includes 70,000 new Texas manufacturing jobs. They said that couldn't be done. Unemployment, think of this, unemployment in Texas is currently at the lowest rate ever recorded in the history of our country. And unemployment in the United States has just reached the lowest level in over 51 years, and very soon we think that will be broken to be a historic number. <laughs> Unemployment among African Americans, Asian Americans, and Hispanic Americans have all reached their lowest levels in the history of our country. Over the last two years, the unemployment rate among Indian Americans dropped by nearly 33 and one-third percent. Wages are rising, incomes are soaring, and inequality is falling at the fastest rate in many, many years. In the past 12 months alone, the average worker has taken home $1,000 extra in rising wages and over $3,000 with tax cuts and all of the other things that we've done. And for the first time in history, most new hires of prime working age are minorities and women. First time that's ever happened. Through our pledge to America's workers, we have secured commitments for nearly 14 million employment and training opportunities for American workers done through our great American companies. We passed the biggest tax cuts and the biggest tax reforms in the history of our country. We slashed a record number of job-killing regulations, giving the average American household more than $3,000 every year. And never in the history of our country, no matter how long the presidency, have regulations been cut to this extent. Every day, the Indian American community is helping to strengthen our country and build our future. Indian Americans are pioneering groundbreaking medicines to save countless lives. They're developing revolutionary technology that is changing the world, and they're founding new businesses that provide jobs to thousands of our fellow citizens. Prime Minister Modi, I look forward to working with you to make our nations even more prosperous than ever before. And that's what's happening. The economic miracles taking place today are just beginning. Here in the United States, there has never been a better time to hire, invest, grow, and pursue your dreams. Indian companies employ tens of thousands of Americans across a range of industries, including American steel. In 2018, India's JSW Steel announced that it would invest up to $500 million 
to revitalize a shuttered steel plant in the great state of Ohio. And we welcome India's growing investments right here in the Lone Star State. Nations around the world are investing in the United States because they know we have the best economy and the best workers in the world. They have never invested in our country like they are today. And we want to thank everybody. And India has never invested in the United States like it is doing today. And I want to say it's reciprocal because we're doing the same thing in India. On Tuesday, two Japanese companies, Toyota and Ace, announced a combined investment of almost $800 million, which will create over 900 new jobs right here in Texas. At the same time, we are working to expand American exports to India, one of the world's fastest growing markets. We are committed to ensuring the Indian people have access to the finest goods in the world. Products stamped with the beautiful phrase, made in the USA. And very soon, India will have access to another world-class American product, NBA basketball. Wow. That sounds good. That sounds good. Next week, thousands of people will gather in Mumbai to watch the first-ever NBA basketball game in India. Am I invited, Mr. Prime Minister? <laughs> I may come. Be careful. I may come. When it comes to expanding our commercial relationship, no issue is more important than energy security. For the first time ever, the United States is the number one producer of both oil and natural gas on planet Earth, and number one by far, with much of it coming right here from the great state of Texas. That means more jobs, higher wages, and lower prices at the pump. Yesterday, we were thrilled to hear about the Indian company Petronet's pledge to purchase up to 5 million tons of LNG per year from the United States, which could lead to billions of dollars of LNG exports to India in the coming years. And we have plenty of it. Over the last year, crude exports to India have grown by 400 percent and liquefied natural gas exports continue to soar at record numbers. Thank you. These tremendous exports not only expand employment in America, but they increase freedom and security for India. To keep our nation safe, the United States and India are forging an even stronger security partnership. U.S. defense sales to India have also reached $18 billion over the past decade. We make the greatest defense mechanisms and equipment anywhere in the world, and India knows that well. We're looking forward to concluding several new defense deals very soon. There are a lot of them in the works. Here in America, we're creating the United States Space Force, and we're working closely with India to enhance space cooperation. In November, the United States and India will demonstrate a dramatic progress of our defense relationship, holding the first ever tri-service military exercise between our nations. It's called Tiger Triumph. Good name. It's a good name. <laughs> Very good name. Today, we honor all of the brave American and Indian military service members who work together to safeguard our freedom. We stand.